Hi, I'm Rhett, as the channel name now suggests. I know most of you watching this video obviously know who I am, but to the 1300 of you that I don't know personally, um, I am Awesomeness Makers. <laughs> this video is to update you all on my life, uh, why I'm on YouTube again, and to show some of you this hidden part of my life. <laughs> Some of my old videos have come up in conversations with some of my friends that didn't know me five to ten years ago. And yes, my life was so different. It's very embarrassing to be in front of a camera right now um, with the intentions of sharing this publicly. But this is a part of a reconstruction or healing process that I'm going through. Times are really strange right now. We are all stuck in quarantine. I'm currently laid off and I'm not sure what's happening with school. I know a lot of people aren't enjoying this and it is hurting me financially still. But for the past month, I have been drowning. I am a full-time film and writing student, and I also have a full-time job outside of that. Between all of that, I don't make a lot of time for myself. And this has been a pattern for me for about five years now. While I'm at work or sitting at school, I always like get these ideas and I tell myself like, oh, I'm gonna do that someday. But I never make time for it. Then this virus hit us and forced myself to make time. This quarantine has been so liberating for me and I'm honestly really enjoying it. This past week, I've been writing songs, poems, making cocktails, and doing a bunch of like other things that I really enjoy doing, but I usually feel guilty about for like making time for them. Like this video. <laughs> I feel like my 12 year old self during summer break again. Um, my parents both worked and I lived too far away from other kids to go visit them, so I was always home alone for hours at a time for two months. I made a lot of videos with my toys and pretended that I was a film studio. Then going into the seventh grade, my best friend Tunji and I decided to take it to the next level and we created Are You Scared of the Woods? Are You Scared of the Woods was um, this campy show about a girl running away from a hooded guy who was actually me. Um, who this guy was after her father's watch. It was popular in our middle school, so when we got into high school, we upped our game a little bit and created more shows. Now, I don't have an explanation for this, but I do understand this. <laughs> These videos are extremely cringe, but they are my origins. And some people say they like it. Thanks. These are the videos that you can find on this channel. <laughs> As I got older and graduated high school, I started taking myself way too seriously. I thought in order to be an artist and to like truly express myself, that it meant that I had to like completely remove this part of me. So I pulled a Holden Caulfield and literally packed up my things, moved away and left everything behind. Even though this transition in my life was probably one of the greatest decisions that I've made. I, I left to find out who I was, but at the cost of removing that part of me. And the most valuable lesson that I've learned over the past few years is that you can never truly be happy with yourself if you have to hide who you are to others. I realize now that things would have been entirely different for me if I had always been unapologetically me. I could have made some longer strides, but I'm vowing now to fix that as I keep peeling off these layers of my shell, starting with this channel. But why am I talking about this? <laughs> I don't really care how many people will watch this, um, but this is sort of like my FAQ for those of you that are wondering WTF right now. I understand. One of Britney Spears' Instagram videos really was that final push for me to do this. And I hope that those of you also stuck in quarantine are either inspired by this or can find something to now binge and laugh at. So thank you for listening.